Ni'iha, hello, hello. So this story uh, goes back to the time of my pregnancy. We were all heading up to Sundance ceremony. And as we were packing up the car, we got word that my uncle had passed away. So we decided to head up to ceremony still. And we drove from California to a couple of states away, right? And somewhere along the line during our trip, a uh, big, you know, adult-sized handprint started showing up on the windows. And we were just like, whoa, trip out on that. And then uh, come to find that my aunt had a handprint on her, my uncle's wife. And I think it was like her coffee table or something. So you know but so now we get to Sundance and uh it gets to the night realm right and you know when it gets to night realm we all got to turn off our lights in camp and everywhere else and my uncle who was there with us from Cali but he originally is from the area where we do Sundance uh he knows protocol more than any of us right and so in his truck, the light is on, and there's two men sitting in the car. So w one of the gentlemen um, from ceremony walks up to that truck to tell these two guys, hey, lights out, man. So he gets to the truck, and the two guys disappear, just like that. And the driver's side door was still open. So the guy leans in, turns off the light, closes the door, comes to us to tell my uncle what had happened. And we all looked at each other and we're like, Robert and Stephen, which Stephen is my brother. And uh, he had passed months prior and him and my uncle were super tight. So we all instantly had that feeling like, yeah, that's who it was, right? So fast forward to a time where I took my son to a Dia de, los, Dia de los Muertos festival, if you will. It was more of a gathering, um, but I had taken him to go help to decorate an altar in particular for our loved ones. And afterwards, I took him for ice cream. And when we left from getting ice cream, I noticed there was a handprint on my car and it wasn't like okay so you know for me at least I've noticed usually it's like you got a dirty car and then somebody touches it and now you've got a print and it's like the only clean part of the car well, this is opposite like the car was clean for once and there was like a dust handprint on it and that had happened to me I think like three times after but I noticed that right and so one day I'm at work fast forward again I'm at work and I'm talking to a co-worker about like signs symbols of like spirits loved ones and um it's the end of our shift which is the end of the night completely it's like 9 15 uh p.m and he walks into my room to like tell me something and he looks up at like the top where the where the top of the wall meets the ceiling and he was like so shocked and he's like, did you put that there? I look up, it's a handprint, a big ass handprint, okay? I don't have a big ass hand. And I just laughed and I was like, that's my uncle, <laughs> that's my uncle. And I, I told a coworker, in fact, I did not do it and I told him who it was. And then I had to stand up on a chair clean the handprint, you know, because it's my job to keep the walls clean in my room. But I just thought it was so funny. And so, yeah, you know, when he reaches out to us to talk to us in his own way, um, he leaves the symbol of a handprint. So if any of your loved ones leave symbols, feathers, dimes, pennies, or anything like that, feel free to share in the comments below. If you're enjoying these videos, by all means, subscribe or share this video with your loved ones and have a beautiful, beautiful morning, day or evening, depending what time you're watching this video. <laughs> All right.